Today we're here to answer the question, how dangerous is a skydive? What's up vlog? Welcome back. Hope you guys have been getting your jumps in. It's been a little windy here. But today I wanted to answer um, something that I, I hear all the time. People are like, oh, you're a skydiver? You're crazy. It's so dangerous. Why would you jump out of a perfectly good airplane? Um, so let's, let's talk about that, you know, because the United States Parachute Association, they keep numbers on skydive fatalities. United States Parachute Association. They've been keeping records on skydiving fatalities and injuries since 1961. So, let's look at the latest data they have. In 2016, uh, one out of every 153,557 skydives was fatal. So, what, what are the odds of that? Our chance of death in every skydive that we go on, on each one, right? Because it doesn't, it, it doesn't accumulate. You don't like you jump 10,000 times. The, the first jump, just as risky as the 10,000th jump, statistically speaking. So, what does that translate to? Let's pull the calculator up. One, five by 153, five by seven, equals, oh my gosh, that is an astronomically low chance of death. 0.000065% chance that you're gonna die on your next skydive. Or to put it a different way, if you go skydive on your own, uh, your chance of survival is 99.99935%. Seems like pretty good odds to me. Um, your odds are still better at dying in a skydive than winning the jackpot in the lottery. Um, but they're so low, you can expect to jump uh, your entire life in. And you can live a great life doing it. The fatalities per tandem skydive. If you've never gone jumping before, you wanna go on a tandem jump, I'm scared out of my mind. What is the chances that I'm gonna die on this skydive? Well, that's even better. One in, <laughs> uh, the chances are even lower. That's what I mean by better. One in 500,000 or uh, a 99.99998% chance that you're gonna survive your tandem skydive. That seems pretty good. Well, Pern Dog, those are just numbers, and it seems like uh, you could get injured pretty well, you know. That's true. You could get injured, and so check it out. In 2016, USPA members in the US reported uh, 2,129 skydiving injuries requiring a medical care facility, so sprained ankles, meh. Uh, it's approximately one injury per 1,500 skydives, um, or a .00067 chance that you're gonna injure yourself on any given skydive. So, th those are pretty good numbers, you guys. I mean, skydiving is actually pretty safe. Um, let's see, what? Oh, this is failure. Let, let, let's check out another stuff. What are the chances of dying in a plane crash? Chances of dying in a plane crash are one for every 1.2 million flights. You're, wow. Um, so th there's also uh, something we can look up called the micromort. Okay, and the micromort is a, a unit of risk defined as a one in a million chance of death. Um, th this probability was uh, introduced by this guy, pioneered the modern practice of decision analysis. So, the chance of you dying in a skydive, look at this, skydiving in the US, eight micromorts per jump. Running a marathon, seven micromorts per run. So this is interesting. Uh, going on a skydive, your chances of dying on a skydive are roughly the same as your chances of dying in a marathon, running a marathon. Um, that's pretty incredible. Wow, giving birth, 120 micromorts. That's, that's 
riskier than a skydive, for sure. Anyway, chances of you dying in a skydive, not too bad. I would go as far as to say that there's really no way I can get 153,000 skydives in, in my life. See, in 2015 it was 165,000. So somewhere in here we're, we're getting an average and it's getting safer, as you can see, look. It's totally getting safer. So, 153,000 skydives. I mean, you're paying 25 bucks a jump. That is $3.84 million worth of skydives. There's no way, there's no way. Of course, you can't always you can't mitigate all of the risk. However, the USPA put out in, in, in uh, Parachutist Mag early this year or last year, I, I remember seeing this, that up to 75% or more of skydiving deaths are preventable. Most of them are not paying attention, um, low collisions, low turns being the number one thing. So. Anytime you turn your canopy and you pull down on a toggle, it, it deflates that side of your canopy and the canopy kind of dives. This, this side has more lift and it dives, right? So anytime you low turn, this increases, especially close to the ground, this increases your chance of injury and or death. And these smaller, highly loaded elliptical canopies, they can, they can cruise, man. You get them in a, in a corkscrew and you're going close to 100 miles an hour straight towards the ground. That's why swooping is, is incredibly dangerous. Um, you really gotta know what you're doing. Uh, you're gonna watch your downsizing. Anyways, if you are, if you are, if you're doing everything right and, and you're doing what you're supposed to, you got the right gear checks and, and you're paying attention, um, maybe one in, in 500,000 skydives is fatal. One in 400,000. So, it's really up to you, man. If, you, if you're a dick in the sky, your chances go up. If you downsize too quick, you wanna learn how to swoop too quick, your chances go up. And you're skewing that number for people like me, with a little boy on the way, who are trying to be safe out there and just kind of enjoy skydiving as a sport. Um, uh, look, let's look at aviation safety for a second here. Huh. The odds of a plane crash are one for every 1.2 million flights. So, the plane flight is safe. The skydive is safe. Um, the low turns, not so safe. So, all right, well, those are the numbers, guys. The statistics do not lie. I'm a firm believer in you can mitigate the chance of death. You know, you're not, you're not ever gonna be able to, to completely mitigate the odds that you're gonna die. I mean, you're gonna die at some point in life. But the risk of death in a skydive is really not high enough to, to blame that for as you as why you don't want to do it. So so if anybody says, "Oh, you're crazy. It's so dangerous." Show them this video. Let them know that it's not the danger that they're responding to. It's really just their fear. Uh, I think I made a video about fear controlling your life, something like that. You guys might have seen it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, trying to get back up in the sky. It's been windy this year. It's been crazy windy this year. Been working a lot. Got to make that diaper money. I'm trying to build the channel. Thank you so much for all of your comments on these last videos. Um, um, if you like the video, let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And uh, welcome to the channel, those of you who are new. We do, we like to have fun over here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the skies. I'll see you in the skies.